The day has come. One of the absolute scariest things that I've done ever since I bought my camera is to clean the camera sensor. But it's not actually as hard as you might think it is. And it's not actually as scary as the picture that I like painted up for myself. So today we are uh, gonna clean some uh, sensors and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it on my cameras. So, uh, oh. Let's do some cleaning. So the absolute first thing that you want to do with your camera is to take one of these brushes. I don't know what it's called, but this is uh, Giotto's, Giotto's Italiano uh, camera brush. And then just brush all the dust off your camera off. Try to be as thorough as you possibly can and try to get it as clean as possible because the less dust, the cleaner your sensor will be. So I'm just gonna do all, I think we are starting to get here. Once you're done with that, what you want to do then is to grab your blower, then open up the sensor, what do you call this, like camera house lid, and then do some like well high pressure blows into the camera sensor. And the reason that I'm holding it upside down is because when you're blowing, the dust falls out. If you were to hold like this, the dust is gonna fall back in. So always hold it upside down when you're blowing out the dust from your sensor. Right, I think it looks good. And now what you wanna do is to start the camera. We're gonna keep it upside down. And then you're gonna go into the menu and we are going to go over to the toolbox, which is going to be on tab five. And then we're gonna to go to page two and then we're gonna to go to cleaning mode and we're gonna hit enter. And the camera will do a little bit of shaking and then it's gonna say auto cleaning is finished, turn the power off. You can also clean the image sensor manually if necessary, follow the procedure in the instruction manual. And the reason that you want to do this is because this locks the sensor in place. Because the Sony cameras has in-body image stabilization, which basically means that the sensor is moving on five different axes to compensate for the movement that you do with your camera. And when you're cleaning the sensor, you want to make sure that it's not moving because then you can scratch it and it's gonna, it's not gonna be good. So just make sure that you don't turn it off and leave this screen on and the sensor will be locked. So now we are going to flip the camera over. Oh. What you want to do now is that you want to grab one of these, which is a VS Go full frame sensor cleaning swag, 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 swab. And make sure that you do have a couple of these because these are not reusable. So once you've used one of these, then you just want to throw it away because otherwise it can damage your sensor. And you also want to make sure that you have the sensor cleaning solution because this is going to be used together. First things first, we just want to open this up and we don't want to like remove it out of the package just yet so we're gonna put it like right here and then we want to open this and now we can take this and we're gonna take some solution here we go and down here as well. once the full edge is covered off the cleaning swab we're just gonna go down and we're gonna start over here and we're gonna drag slowly all the way till the end and then turn it over and do the same back like so now this swab is done maybe we can do one more take because i can see some small dust spots so a couple of drops once again do the same thing start over on the left drag it like so and then back it is good. Look at that clean sensor. Mm -mm. And now we're just gonna put the body cap on, turn the camera off, and there you go. Camera is clean and you are ready to shoot. And a couple of things to remember to not get your sensor dirty is one, when you're switching your lenses, always keep the camera upside down and then try to like blow out the dust before you put on the new lens. And also don't try to change the lens in harsh environments because that might give you some uh, some dirt into your camera sensor. And if you have a weather sealed lens, that is 
perfect. This is something that I've done a couple of times on my cameras now and they still work flawlessly. So do not be afraid. And if you are really uncertain or if you have some really like shaky hands, then maybe you should give it to a professional. But I highly recommend you try this out because having a clean sensor will make your videos and photos way better. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up because it does help a lot. So thanks so much for that. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, that'd be highly appreciated right here. Thanks so much for watching and uh, oh, until next time, take care.